Hey everyone, welcome to The Cabin. My name's Alec Britz, and today we're talking about ribbon microphones. I've got an AEA KU5A microphone and a set of AEA Nuvo microphones. I'm going to show you everything that's included, and most importantly, how they sound. Thank you very much to Studio Care for letting this video be a possibility. Let's jump right in. Opening up the KU5A, you see the microphone, and love it or hate it, the built-in cable. It's got a very simple swivel system. You undo these, and it will allow you to maneuver the microphone however you feel like. It's coated in a beautiful matte black finish, uh, which is good for live, and obviously just kind of keeping things under wraps, under all the videos that we do these days. It's not very reflective at all, and kind of gives it a nice rugged feeling. It's quite a weighty microphone. At the back, you have your low cut, and in the front, you have a steel mesh, and over here you have the nice soft signature AEA ribbon protecting mesh, which is pretty cool. Let's jump over to the Nuvo N8 system. Opening the N8 Nuvo stereo kit shows a really well designed case, both of the microphones, an additional mount which allows you to help position the microphones in any kind of challenging situations, which is great. It's got a nice thick handle here which feels very robust. Then down here we have our two mic clips and both mic clips have a really cool shock mount system in them to help with rumble. We then have this little guy which clips onto the top of the microphones right here. So when you have the microphones in a blim line position it keeps it really nice and tight in place. Then we have two pouches for when the microphones are not in use to help with any of the little dust particles to not get caught. And then on the second layer, we have our stereo bar and two wind um, stoppers and a little bag right here that has um, some bolts and some nuts to be able to help connect the mic clips to the stereo bar. Now, the stereo bar is really quite interesting because it has all of your distance markings on it and in the manual there's some really good ways of how to use this creatively. You see there's all these drilled holes over here and that's positions for you to be able to place the microphone in using some of these guys. To connect it to a microphone stand you have three different places to do that. One over here, one over here, and one over here. So sky's the limit when it comes to your stereo recording with these guys. Next up you get to hear how they sound. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end for my thoughts. So, the AEA KU5A ribbon microphone. With it being a super cardioid ribbon, I have found myself using this mic in places that I wouldn't rarely think about using a ribbon mic. For example, snare top, or this close to my face. But it handles these tasks quite effortlessly, and the way that the gain structure is dealt with within the microphone allows it to handle extremely high SPLs relatively easily, whether that be right next to a guitar cab or using it on bass with the Roland JC80, as you heard earlier. 
The thing with using it as a vocal mic or as a snare mic is we're so conditioned to how vocals sound with condenser microphones that it almost is like underwhelming the first time you use a ribbon mic. However, if you just put in a little bit of work and open up the top end, the way that a ribbon mic deals with harshness and with honky notes is really elegant. So you get this modern open top end, but then you get this really full and like rich mid-range. And that's where the KU-5A starts to kind of be its own beast because you get to use it like you would use a 57 or um, a, a Bear Dynamic M201 or something. And at first it sounds like a, just a really full kind of rolled off version of those mics. But then as you start to tailor it for exactly what you want, and then you A-B it against any of those microphones, you realize you're in a completely different territory. And that's where the KU-5A really shines for me. When it comes to the Nouveau microphones, um, they had some really big shoes to fill in the studio because I've had an AEA R88 microphone for a, maybe two and a half years, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's extremely gain thirsty, and that's where the first like plus comes with the Nouveaux because they are active and they have the the added gain. The noise floor issues that I come up against with the R88 are dealt with almost instantly. And if I'm using a Bloomline configuration, it's generally a little bit further away from the source, you know, being a room mic or picking up the ambience. Um, so you do a lot more compression and a lot more processing on those microphones that are a bit further away. So with these guys, I feel so much more confident and it inspired me to use them in ways that I wouldn't necessarily have thought of using a big ribbon, like recording acoustic guitar, or last week I recorded female vocals with it and it sounded unbelievable. Upright piano, about 50 centimeters away, no issue, and that was with like a truckload of compression to make that piano pop the way I wanted it to. And again, opening up the top end just was a really... It kind of was like a really enhanced version of what I was hearing in the room. And then as soon as you start sculpting the mid-range and you compress them a bit more, you just get this really lush and thick version of what you would like to hear coming out of the speakers. The song that you heard a little second ago was obviously completely raw. But if you had to just open up the top end alone on the master, all of a sudden everything just springs to life to more of what we're used to hearing today in like modern recordings. So these microphones are extremely well built. They have cutting edge technology with the active systems in them which really helps with noise floor. And I think that they're extremely useful to have within a mic locker for more than what you would naturally use a ribbon mic for. So if there's any other ribbon mics that you would like me to review, or if there's any other pieces of equipment you'd like me to review, please let me know. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all looking after yourselves, and most importantly, being kind. See you soon.